This video will show you how to transfer data to and from your Netgear ReadyNAS using the ReadyCloud website. By default, your ReadyNAS is not cloud-enabled. To enable the device, you will need the local IP address of your ReadyNAS. To find the IP address on a ReadyNAS 100 or 200 series, download and run Radar. To find the IP address on a ReadyNAS 300 series and up, simply press the center button on the unit and then the down arrow. To enable the ReadyCloud feature, open a web browser and type in your ReadyNAS local IP address slash admin. Next, log in to the admin portal with the username admin and the password password. Once you're logged into the admin page, click the Cloud tab and then locate the Cloud Enabled option under the ReadyCloud header. Ensure that it is toggled on. Once your ReadyNAS has been cloud enabled, you can associate your ReadyNAS to your account. To do this, click on the Users button and enter your ReadyCloud username and password. If you don't have an account, you can create one by going to readycloud.netgear.com. You can also invite other ReadyCloud users by clicking the Invite User button. Now that your Netgear ReadyNAS device is cloud enabled, you are ready to access it remotely. To do this, navigate to readycloud.netgear.com. On the home screen, click Sign In, located in the upper right corner. Enter your username and password in the Sign In dialog box. Upon login, you will see the list of devices that are in your ReadyCloud. Simply select the ReadyNAS you want to view for secure, private cloud access to your data. From here, you can see all your data, including documents, music, pictures, and videos. For this example, we will select the Pictures folder. Within the Pictures folder, you will see all your photos. By right-clicking on any of the photos, a menu of options appears. From this menu, you can choose a number of options such as Preview, Download, and Delete. You can even create or email a link. If you decide to create a web link, simply copy the link text and paste it into a chat box or post it to social media. You can even protect it with a password. Be sure to agree on a password with the person who will be receiving the link. You can even have the cloud send you a notification when the link is accessed. You can also send the file as a password-protected email message. Want to invite others to access your folders? No problem! Right-click on the folder you want to share. This will give you a selection menu. Click on Share. If you want to invite others to view your data for a limited amount of time, you can assign an expiration date to your shared folders. Copy the provided link and share as needed. If your friends have a ReadyCloud account, you can grant them the privilege of unlimited access to your data. Simply enter their email address to share and an invitation email will be sent. If your friends don't have a ReadyCloud account, the invitation email will show them how to create one in minutes. Then they can access the folders you have shared with them. To upload data to your ReadyNAS using the ReadyCloud website, simply open the folder where your data is stored and drag and drop the items into ReadyCloud. A progress bar will show the status of the file transfer. Once the files have finished uploading, they will appear in your share folder. You are now ready to go. It's that easy. For more information about ReadyNAS, visit www.netgear.com readynas or visit the ReadyNAS forums to ask a question.